Greetings and welcome back to SmartwatchTicks.com. Well, it's official. We are expanding here from smartwatches to rings and things. Indeed, as long as I have fingers and there are rings, you're going to get to see them. This is an update on all kinds of things related to these different rings. And I'm including a couple of watches because I've got some comparison data finally for you guys. But before we jump in on that, I want to let you know about new models that have come out and special sales that are happening right now. Let's take a look at them. The Aura Ring, the Ultra Human. What? The Ultra Human Ring? Well, actually, this uh, is from... Uh, the sizing kit, and we are going to talk to you about how to size a ring, any of these rings, for your finger. And that's coming up at the end. In the meantime, yep, we've got the, it's it's just a plastic circle right now, but it's on its way in. Going to have a full review of the Ultra Human Ring. And of course, we've got Ring Con, and we've got Circular here, starting with Circular. I want to let you know, in my fancy electronic display, that circular has a circular slim light remember we've reviewed the circular sim but the light is something new and the biggest difference is it doesn't have the vibration in it longer battery life gets you basically what you need and way cheaper look at it only 215 dollars no subscription shipping now but if you use the special coupon ticks see it down here T-I-C-K-S is an 8% off of the total price of 212 This is right from the cart, guys. I put it in there and the, and, and the, put the coupon in, and that's, that's the out-the-door price, $195 if you want to get the Circular Slim Light and apply the coupon ticks. It's a little bit more, of course, if you get the basic Circular Slim with the vibration and the button and everything, but you still get 8% off of the total price, as long as you use Tix as a coupon. Got that one? Let's jump over to RingCon. RingCon's got another fun thing going on for Mother's Day. They have a discount, really nice, running through at least the first half of May. Check the show notes, you'll have all the information there, including the link to take advantage of any of these uh, ring sales. Up to $42 off. How does that work? Well, they're knocking off 15, I believe, percent from the total price. However, if you guys use the coupon TIX15 now with RingCon, that will take an extra $15 off. So the final price after the discount and the coupon is $222 bucks out the door. Yeah, these are really, really good prices. And... Um, Definitely worth looking into. If you are an Ultra Human fan, and you may not know that you are yet, but you will after we've got the review up, just to announce it, because they announced it to me, they are stoked. They are launching a manufacturing facility called the Ultra Factory in Indiana, USA. And it's uh, this, this ring is actually from India. We have one from France, right? Circular. We've got some from uh, China. And now we've got an India ring that's going to be co-locating for distribution here in the U.S. So you can read this if you freeze frame it. We're really happy that these guys are on board. And I'll have that review coming up for you soon, including discount. Check the show notes. Even if you want to jump in and buy it right now, I'll have a coupon for at least 10% off whatever the final price is for you. Um, just click the links down there. Now, the first thing you're going to get after you place your order is a ring sizing kit. It'll come in this uh, cardboard box inside of a wrapper. When you open it up, you see that's a shipping box and the actual container box is right here. Now, when you open this and it's got a little lid, you have access to all of these different sample rings. They're non-functional, but they are the same size and shape as the actual ring you'll receive. You have all the way from size 5 up to size 14 in whole increments, not in half sizes. And that's where it gets interesting to show you how you want to try to select which one is best for you. First, I want to show you the text that you'll get uh, in an email about how to size your kit. They're recommending your index, middle, or ring finger. That's these three fingers here. Leave out your thumb and little finger. Uh, then you go about uh, 
checking to see if it fits properly. It should be snug. And I'm going to show you what they mean by snug. You can tell if you can rotate the ring on your finger. And it shouldn't rotate freely. That's too loose. To take it off, you've got to push the bottom of the ring from below and then slide it out. When you're done, you can submit um, your through the QR code directly to the app. And uh, from there, it'll start the manufacturing process of your particular ring in the color you want and the size you want. Now, if you decide after wearing it for a few days that you got overzealous and you need to change the size, you have up to three days to get uh, back to them to change to a different size. Otherwise, they won't be able to change it because they'll be actually manufacturing it. So what's uh, the correct method to do it? They come with the size mentioned on the surface. We'll show you that. And you want to wear it so that that engraved side number is toward the palm of your hand because that's where the sensors are and they're going to line up right here for the best reading. So let's grab one. I'll get the biggest one, size 14, to show you. It's just a round piece of plastic. When you look inside of it, you'll see it's got a little flat area right there. You notice that? Otherwise, it's completely round. And on the bottom, it says S for size 14. Now, to put this on, you slide it on like that. If you can twirl it easily, it's too loose. That should not happen. So, turns out I'm probably a size 11. But I'm going to grab a size 12 to show you. If I pop that on my finger with that flat part down, like so... It seems like it's fitting really nice and snug, doesn't it? It doesn't turn too easily. It takes a little bit of effort. But guys, it's mid-afternoon. I've had a nice salty lunch. And my finger is extra swollen. You want to definitely do this overnight because um, although it appears to be fitting nicely, it actually at night is going to be too loose. And it'll pop up like that if you move your hand around. To get the ring off, it mentioned that you want to actually do that. Lift it from the bottom and slide it over your knuckle like that to get it off, right? Uh, but again, this one is a little bit too big for me. So if I go to size 11, now this could fit on any of these three fingers. And your right hand, if you're right-handed, will be a little larger than your left hand. Okay, so... Uh, I'm just going to slide it on this one. You'll see how it's really loose, a size 11 on my ring finger. But if you've watched this channel, you know that that unsuntanned spot is where a different smart ring normally sits. This puppy is going to be right beside it on this uh, middle finger. So size 11. Now you saw how hard I had to push it to get it on. And there's no hope of getting it off, even if I press it up and pull it forward, that's about how tight you're going to want it. If I try to twirl it, it hardly moves at all, but it's going to be good and snug. So use your judgment between the two different sizes that come close, and if you can, err on the side of small. How do I get this off? It's easy. Get a little soap and water, rub the soap around, twirl it, press it, and pull it and you'll be able to get it over your knuckle, as you've done with any other ring. You're looking at screenshots of the apps of a Fitbit watch, a generic smartwatch, happens to be this one, the W101, I think it is. We just reviewed this recently. I just love it because it's got that always-on orange screen, and then it's got a nice, brilliant screen when it lights up, and it does step count and everything else. So I got step count from this smartwatch as a generic using the Fit app, and then I got the same data, and I wear these all the time, from the Aura Ring, that's this one, from the Rincon Ring, that's that one in the opposite ring finger position, the circular on my little finger, and right here is going to be the Ultra Human once we get it in. I had a really, really good day, and then I had an average day. I'm going to just let you look at the data for comparison purposes. I got an idea of my step count, and I would put it right around 14,000 steps on this particular day. Why do I say that? Because I know the Fitbit airs a little bit high. Um, 
I got I to gotta admit, sometimes I don't hit my 250 steps. And you see this little marker on here, this particular watch face? When I hit right in the middle, that's 250 steps. And I get credit in the app for walking that hour. And I try to hit 10 out of 10 hours that I have it set for. It's just my thing. Sometimes I'm, I don't know, 20 steps short. And I'm in the car and I'm driving and I know I'm not going to get to a place where I can walk in time. Anyway, I can go like this. Boom, boom. And I can fake steps. I know I shouldn't do that, but I want credit for that hour. And so as penance, the next hour, I make up for it by not just going 10 steps. I try to peg the needle at the very end, which is 500. That's two hours worth of steps because I was a bad boy. Anyway, because of that, I know you can kind of uh, fudge Fitbit to be a little more steps than it normally would be walking. Because consciously doing this is one thing, but I might be doing this in real life and getting erroneous steps. The smartwatch here, I think, is a little on the light side. It's about 13,500. Now, I'm walking with both of them the entire time for the whole day for both of these analyses. You'd think they'd be pretty much the same, left-right movement, but right-handed, I'm probably moving this one a little bit more than I am this one. Either way, they're probably fairly close to accurate whatever accurate is in true measurement. And this is as close as I can get. Somewhere between 13.5 and 14.4. I'm going to call it about 14,000. The Aura Ring on the left hand, the same rings, the ha same hand as the, this smartwatch is coming up with 14,300. Almost the same as Fitbit, which is on this hand. Interesting. All right. Ringcon now, which is this ring on the same hand as this one, is right at 14,000, 14,400, 14,324, 13,5. All of those are in the 13,5 to 14,5 zone except for circular. Now, I can't get a nice big number. When you go into circular, you kind of have to draw, dive down into this. And it's 2479, 2,479 registered steps, this ring here, worn just like all the others, all of the time, during that whole day, way off, way, way off. I thought it might be an error, but then when you look at the average day, which is broken down to around 5,000 to 5,600, now comparison, notice that this is lower than that, and here this is lower than that, but it's the same arms, the same positions. This, 5,600 compared to 5,000, 14,3 to 14,4. This is a little lower there. This is higher there. So consistency is also another question. 5,000 here. Remember I said this was about 4,000, and I'm guessing this is about 5,000. So the Rincon is looking close to what I would guess is right. Maybe the Fitbit as well here on, on this particular day. But back again, I think I've got 29 and 14, uh, which is really close to this day, which makes me wonder if it's actually counting steps at all on the circular ring. Now, it could be a problem with my particular ring. It's an early prototype. Um, it doesn't have the little etching with the button on it and such. So I'm not going to fault the ring. I'm going to let you know that um, there could be reasons why these are under counting uh, the, the step count. Um, and that's just something you have to kind of check into for yourself. But this is the hardcore actual results that I'm getting from uh, all of these different devices. And that brings us up again to the fact that you help us out here at smartwatchticks.com when you pick up your product, whichever one you want to, using the links in the show notes. And um, we've got them all. We've got the watches. We've got the rings. And we'll have the uh, Ultra Human Ring review coming up soon. Should be in very shortly. The actual size 11 that... Oh, get down there, fingers. You've got to be careful when you use that finger. Uh, <laughs> anyway, it should be here soon. I'm going to go wear it for at least two weeks to a month to get some good data, and then we'll have some detailed comparisons across the board with that too. Thanks for watching, guys. This is kind of a quick insert because I wanted to catch those of you who are ready to buy to be able to, and we're back on track doing uh, smart watch reviews, including the new Android one with the little rotating camera. Did you see that one? That's sweet. I really, I'm having fun with that one. Got another one like that on the way in as we speak. Have you subscribed? I hope so. We'll see you soon.